Alex Lucas to come off the bench. Brown to come off the bench. So much strength in depth. And Kendrick Nunn almost inevitably gets the scoring started. Kendrick Nunn picking up right where he left off in the postseason and hanging it high for Omer Yurt, seven to saw. Grant as they space the floor, Pancho Hernan Gomez. Oh my goodness! Pancho Hernan Gomez trying to smash the new glass. 0.6 steals and shooting it superbly. Last season, only 4.3 points in 16 and a half minutes. Kendrick Nunn is in the zone. His first season at the top tier of continental basketball, he's averaging 13.6 points per game so efficiently. And leading the league in rebounds. Swancho looking to show he can shoot, and he surely can. It was his fourth straight 20-plus PIR performance. Here he goes again. Almost a carbon copy, and this time from his Turkish teammate, Jelly Osman. Grant the main ball handler here, none the biggest offensive weapon. And Yurt Seven in bolly ball mode. Six points for Omar Yurt Seven on perfect shooting. As well, missing chance after chance to close the gap to two possessions with that series of threes. Jenny Osman, baseline burst, and gets it on the top adjustment in the lane. He's missed one tonight, his team have missed nine without a score, and Lorenzo Brown shows them how to do it. In start. No problem with Asval on the interior, five of seven now. Juancho Hernan Gomez strutting his stuff, feeling confident. It's more than one a minute by some distance. Lorenzo Brown turning it on, digging into his bag of tricks and dazzling the defense at the finish to the first. Here's Wancho. Lasor. Now to Slukas. Slukas going to the baseline. Lasor. He'll put it over the top of his opponent and in. Asvel can't afford to miss their opportunity again. And with that, they commit their second turnover, and Mitoglu off the long pass puts it in. After it was perfectly placed, and Panathinaikos lead by 13 again. Papa Petru. He was the X-factor for Panathinaikos in the playoff series against Maccabi last season. Lorenzo Brown was on the other side of that story, now dressed in green. And a fan favourite already at the Oaka. Turnover Asvel, two in quick succession for them. Papa Petru's at it again, and Lasor can't put it in. But how about the flying follow from Lorenzo Brown? Five and a flash for him. At the moment, they're all getting the ball in their hands for Panathinaikos. None. Hesitation dribble. Gets the bounce of the rim and wants the and one as well. Wilson, though, his second field goal. Outside shot. Kendrick Nunn in an instant. Brown to your seven. Unplug the printer. A big jam at the Owaka. Yurt 7 printing too many champions back home posters. Having offered a little bit of hope in that regard, hitting their first three on their 10th attempt in the game, but a series of misses from him since then. And Duran Grant answers with a score. And Pierre Poupe, although he's only scored one point, having arrived as the second top scorer in the league this season, averaging. 18.2 a game. Panathinaikos up to 49. Kendrick Nunn. Grant. Lesor always in an all guns blazing mode. He shows physicality and finesse to get that score. 
Shot clock down to the final few ticks, had to pick it up off the floor. Kendrick Nunn side skip, left his feet for the pass and thrown down by Lesaw on clean up duty. But Lesaw just breaking the rack to get the job done. Nunn skipping through and the flying follow again from Lorenzo Brown clocking up the air miles in Athens tonight. It's his first of this evening on his third attempt, but it's cancelled out straight away. If Grant doesn't get you, Brown will. And this time, it's Kendrick Nunn. The lightning on defence and the thunder on offence. That's back-to-back -back assists for Harrison. Ten points, three assists, three steals for him. Slukas far side to Osman. Osman off with the floater. Mitoglu another offensive rebound. He'll put it in. He's around three times his season scoring average now on his sixth Euroleague appearance, but Kostas Slukas having none of it. And Harrison with four assists now, three of them have come over the last few minutes. The saw, well, he waited for it to come to him, and then he went right up for the 10 foot tall teardown. They've got 23 points in this period, Asval, after only. 29 points the whole of the first half. Slukas short, another offensive rebound, stick back. Up against Black, another big body, pokes it away. Shot clock down to the final three, and it's good for Captain Clinical. Running rings around the Asvel defense. The sword, Slukas again. On the bounce, penetrates the paint, push shot, good, beats the shot clock again. Yeah, seven batting it to himself. Shot clock down to the final three. Cam Brown to a Slukas, still time for Juancho on the fade and finish. A three as well as those four twos, he's got five rebounds as well. Level with Lorenzo Brown for the best index rating in the game. And here's Brown to put himself out in front in more ways than one. 22, the Panathon Icos lead, five and a half to play. Pancho again. Off the glass, challenged all the way, but it doesn't matter, they can't stop him. Budget in perspective, the Panathon Icos budget for the team is around 35 million euros, so more than twice as much. And Teta Campo. Checking his opponent into the Highlight Real Hotel. For context, no team has ever done a three-peat in the modern Euroleague. Three in a row is the record in the old European Cup as well.